Jones, Gordon Brown has just been speaking and he's added his name to the list of those calling for, for the immediate and unequivocal adoption of the, the era definition of anti-Semitism. Now, I know that you've written quite a lot about this this week and you have, some, you have some quite serious concerns about that. I mean, I've made no secret of my concerns around IHRA's working definition. I think that some version of it should be implemented. I think that's really important for repairing trust with the Jewish community and also to guide disciplinary proceedings, which I think have been a bit all over the place in the Labour Party on anti-Semitism. But I'm being guided here by the fact that almost every Palestinian civic society organisation in the UK has expressed grave concerns over IHRA, its implementation, and the fact that it could well suppress legitimate freedom of speech. And it's not just Palestinian civic society organisations that have said this. Kenneth Stern, who was one of the authors of the original working definition that IHRA is based on, in his report to the US uh, House Judiciary, Judiciary Committee, said that when it's been applied in academic settings, its effect has been chilling and McCarthyite. And the press has really been nowhere on this, that opposition to full implementation of IHRA isn't being driven by malice or latent anti-Semitism. It's out of real concern that the principles on which democratic participation is based on could indeed very not, well Ash, be under so, threat. Sorry to, sorry to interrupt, Ash, but it, it, indeed not. But, but uh, given that the, the majority of people at the conference today are calling similarly to Gordon Brown for, 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 for the full adoption of, of ERA, and the NEC will vote on this and they will have their own view, but isn't it ultimately the case that if the Labour Party followed the advice of you and others, there is a section of British society uh, to which Labour will no longer be able to speak, and that is the, the majority of British Jewry? I don't think that that is necessarily true, because if you adopt any version of IHRA, even if it was just the definition and none of the examples, or the definition and some of the examples, or all the examples with caveats, Jewish people in the Labour Party will be afforded protections which no other racial or religious minority will have in the Labour Party. And I think the majority of Jewish people are open to some good faith scrutiny of what those proposals are. So protections are being offered. I think what's more important important than the disciplinary aspect of fighting anti-Semitism. I think it's important, but I don't think it's the only tool, is what political education will look like. A lot of anti-Semitism is conspiratorial thinking based on ignorance, and we as the left have got to fight that tooth and nail by talking to people, not just excluding them.